Hey folks, Rich here at RC Informer. It is finally time to buzz the tower with uh, Freewing's F14 280mm Tomcat. Guys, this is available at Motion RC, so check it out there. Um, I've done a lot of Motion RC videos in the past, guys, and some of the Freewing stuff. We did their uh, F18 vectored thrust jet. I also did their, uh, their Stinger 90 and uh, a bunch of other stuff. The FMS Corsair was always a good video, and I got those on the channel, guys, so check those out, and you can see some of the, some of the older stuff we did for Motion RC and Freewing and some of their airplanes. Um, and now uh, they've kind of asked me to give, a, give their Tomcat a view, a look at, and kind of show you guys uh, what I think of it and show you some setup uh, and uh, just some of the other things that kind of go along with it. Um, there's a lot really to show you guys. This is going to be a, a review that's uh, more than just the airplane, but actually uh, a lot of the accessories kind of that go along with it. I'm going to be running it with an all motion RC setup. Now, one of the things they do uh, have as an option, guys, is actually a missile set. And you can see the missiles. There's Phoenix missiles under there, Sidewinders as well. And I think those are uh, Sparrow missiles. And they come really nicely packaged in this bag if you want to get that as an option for it. It's a pylon and weapon set. And basically, it comes with basically two of each missile which actually I have here, I'm gonna kind of show you here. I'll drop that on the ground there. Um, really nice missile set, guys, as an addition that go with this airplane. If you wanna add the scale of missiles, I'll probably be doing most of my flying without the missiles on there, but uh, this is a real nice package. And uh, these two Phoenix missiles that fit underneath literally just bolt on with two screws here and here and have a real nice uh, latch mechanism. And they're really well made. Also. Uh, just like you can see this wing pylon, you can see the uh, Phoenix missiles under there. But right here you can see uh, the Sidewinders and the Sparrows. They attach really with screws and they have a beautifully made pylon that all this goes on the airplane with. And um, the fins are just fantastic and the detail is awesome and all of these missiles slide off. So you can static display the airplane with the, this missile set um, or even fly with them. Um, some of the fins come a little bent, but and that's okay because that's packaging over a long time. That's something you can just kind of bend and straighten out, but they're nice and thin and should cut the air real nice, but they're beautiful, beautiful guys, scale missiles that come as an option for the airplane that are separate, and they, uh, they really are uh, nicely, uh, nicely made. The other thing I'm going to be demoing for you guys too as well here is uh, the recommended battery setup for this airplane, uh, which is their 4000 6S 4060C uh, Pro batteries, which uh, just at first glance, Taking them out of the package uh, just look really, really nice. We may go with a bigger set of batteries as I check out the flight time and how this thing really operates on a, on a 4,000 milliamp pack. I'll probably upgrade and go to maybe a 45 or a 5,000. After I try these out and see what they do, maybe even stick some roaring tops in there or something. What I like right off the bat about uh, these batteries is, is they already come with this... Uh, this, uh, what do you call it, a keeper here, or uh, uh, just kind of a thing where you, it's a plastic piece, and I forgot their actual technical name for it, but it really holds the connector in place because so many times the wires break off there. This allows you to pull on just the connector and not the wires so you don't tear those off. It looks like there's a little bit of rubber cement in there uh, and so forth just to kind of keep them in place, but it's nice. A lot of times this is an accessory that you have to buy separately, but it's nice they're actually putting them on the Pro Series batteries at least anyway. But the battery is real compact and actually weighs a little bit less than I think the, the website said they were 645 grams. I just weighed this in at uh, 625, so it's actually a little bit lighter, which is real nice. So again, we'll try the 4000s in the Tomcat, and we'll probably go a little bit bigger later if I find you know the flight time isn't uh, uh, enough because I've heard a lot of stuff about uh, maybe flight time being an issue. And then also, guys, I'm going to show you some of their new receivers here. Uh, they come nicely packaged, guys, in these... Uh, uh, Admiral receiver packs. Uh, these are all DSMX uh, compatible receivers. And you can see here I'm running their new seven channel here, guys. This should be enough with a satellite receiver, and I think I got one of those too. That thing comes packaged also here as well. I'll definitely put a satellite, but these are really nice and really affordable receivers. And again, compatible with uh, all the Spectrum and DSMX. The receiver itself, the seven channel, which I forgot the exact model number on there. It's their new seven channel. I think James there at Motion RC just did a video on these things, but it comes with the uh, EC3 connector here. I think the temperature probes and stuff, but also I'm going to put in this EC5 telemetry uh, uh, hookup. And again, that's what the, uh, that's what the uh, EC3, uh, I'm sorry, uh, XT60 connector is set up as. And uh, I'm going to be using the EC5 uh, te um, uh, telemetry module. And you can see this is meant for six cell packs. You really only monitor, I think, one battery out of this. Uh, I may be able to put them in with both. We'll kind of see how that goes. But this will monitor not only uh, 
you know, the amperage, but it'll, it'll tell you the amp draw, which is kind of important. And I'll link that up to the radio and show you how the telemetry, you guys know I usually use a quantum telemetry, but I'm going to try this, uh, this telemetry module actually through the radio and see how well that works. And me and Steve will show you that uh, in video format as well. And also, something else Motion has that's real nice that I may go with later on here if I decide to go a little more advanced on the wing, and I'll demo this for you, is Admiral actually has a real nice 10 channel. Also uses satellite receivers if you want. It has two antennas already, but uh, which is really all you need. But they have a really nice 10 channel receiver, guys. So I may plug this in later and do a little bit of a different wing mixing with flaperons and all that kind of stuff, and we'll uh, kind of see how it goes. But uh, we'll get all that in there and show you all this, but for now, guys, let's take a look at the airplane, and uh, let's take a look at some of the details, and then we'll get inside the box. As we look at the outside of the box, you can see uh, some of the specifications here. I'll be showing you guys the uh, standard version here today, and uh, just like the uh, full-scale airplane, this Tomcat has a full-sweep uh, variable geometry swept wing, so it's pretty cool. Uh, we'll be showing you that in detail and how all that works. See the wingspan fully extended out is uh, 1550 millimeters or 61 inches. Uh, when it's fully retracted and swept back, you're looking at 37 inches or 960 millimeters. Length is about 60 inches as well. Uh, the weight it comes out to be, uh, here's the grams of it. It looks like that may be a little typo, but uh, it's about uh, nine or so pounds, nine and a half pounds, I think, when it's uh, empty. And with the two batteries in it, yes, it does need two six cell batteries. Those batteries, the battery I just showed you, we'll put two of those in there. Uh, with those, it gets up to about 11, 11 and a half pounds, I believe, so and so forth. So, uh, as we look at the uh, standard version specs here, guys, you can see uh, all the servos and the motors that are installed and everything. And the uh, plane has six blade plastic fans. I, I think uh, there was a 12 blade version, I'm not sure, uh, but I think we're showing you the six, uh, six blade version. We'll show you that. And then it shows you the weights and everything with or without the batteries. A couple features it shows here, guys, uh, with an electronic landing gear system. And we'll take a look at all that. It has a door for the nose uh, gear door as well. It's got LEDs on the nose and all kind of all the way around it. We'll take a look at that. Wing sweep controller, hardware, aluminum rear hub with bearings. Uh, I'm not sure what that means. But uh, it has scale pilot on and everything. So we'll show you those details, guys, as we get in the box. And this thing is a pretty big box to kind of maneuver around. Uh, and with the box top off, guys, you can really see how this thing uh, looks overall uh, and uh, how it comes packaged. It's basically really here, guys, all in uh, the main section is all in one piece right here. You can see your, your wings and all the variable geometry systems in there. It's bagged. Nose cones under there, and there's just parts all around. It's a double-decker box. You can kind of see down around the sides there that it actually two halves, top and bottom, come off. So with that, guys, I'll go ahead and get the, uh, the box top off or get the two halves apart anyway and we'll take a look inside the box. Just to show you guys how this thing uh, works out, I went ahead and cut the tape at uh, both ends here, and we'll pull this out so you can kind of get an idea how this really comes new out of the box before I get everything out of there. You see as I pull the top off of there, you can see the, uh, the other sections and how those come on there. You can see a uh, wing panel on there. It looks like the uh, rods, horns, linkages, all that stuff's already connected uh, on your wing panels. You got your uh, vertical stabilizers and rudder, all that stuff is connected. Looks like your tailoron's right there, your cockpit with two pilots in it, so that's going to be real slick. Front heart part of the, uh, the, 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 the fuselage is right in there where all the batteries go in place and the receiver equipment and everything, and then your nose cone kind of way down there in the corner, which my logo might be hiding. But anyway, you can see it's a double-decker box, and everything's real nicely packaged. So with that, let's get everything out of the box. We'll lay it all out and take a look at everything in more detail. Here's the layout of all the parts that uh, came out of the box, and I got to tell you guys, really nice airplane overall. It is just uh, amazing where the technology has gone and uh, how advanced some of these things have gotten. Uh, this is going to be a relatively easily easy assembly, folks. Um, once you get the swing wings on, it's probably going to be some trimming and tuning and so forth. But aside from that, most everything pretty much bolts together, with the exception of the nose section. You can see those. Uh, Carbon fiber rods back there. Going to use a little either foam tack or epoxy or something to slide that section on that glues into place. And most everything bolts into position. There is a little glue on some ventral fins back there and some little parts um, like the, there's a little tracking pod up front, uh, guns and pitot tubes and stuff. But most of it bolts on. It looks like the uh, vertical stabilizers bolt on, stabilators bolt on, wings bolt on with dual ball bearings and so forth. So really, uh, really nice. Super quality overall, folks. The main component, obviously, is the main fuselage section with engine cells and everything is already mounted in here. Speed controllers are in there, swing wing mechanism, 
main landing gear, all the wiring is all kind of pre-wired and ready to go. Uh, the next section is uh, your wings right here, which I'll bolt right on with, um, you can see the, the hinge points right around in here somewhere. It might be those two, I'm not sure. But you've got dual ball bearings, we'll show you those closely. But rods, horns, linkages already installed. Real robust uh, wings with ailerons and flaps and lights. And so very, very, very sweet and robust. And then the front section here, folks, which is your front fuselage section. Again, that slides right in. This section right here where the latches is actually a separate piece. And then your, uh, your canopy actually locks on in place and it all fits. I test fit everything, it's fantastic. Your nose, uh, uh, what is it, your uh, nose cone there, it's magnetic and it's actually backed up with foam in the front of it. We'll take a closer look at that. Your vertical stabilizers and rudders, beautifully painted, lights installed, wired, ready to be connected, and then your two uh, stabilators here. So those are your main parts. And then there are several parts bags with glues and uh, hinges for your uh, stabilators and then your ventral fins and so forth and of course your instruction manual so really impressed overall with this thing guys now let's take a more in-depth look at each of the individual parts the first main part to show you guys is the uh, center fuselage section and um, and engine nacelles and i gotta tell you this thing is one massive massive unit in fact i'm really having a hard time kind of holding it here and i'll try and grab onto it and flip it up Got to be careful doing this on camera, I don't damage anything. But you can see how, how detailed this thing is, and even on the inside, you can look down in there and see your swing wing mechanism. This is just temporarily installed, which is why it's sitting up like this. It has, you can see in there, some, uh, and I'll try and balance this with my leg, get my leg in on this. Uh, there's a little bit of foam piece here. This is a very thin piece of uh, foam right here. Uh, they have it with this little chunk of foam right here, just as a sort of a, again, just as a, just sort of a packing transport piece of foam. All that's going to settle down and go in there further, but you can see how nice the aluminum swing wing mechanism and how robust that, uh, that system is. And when I get into kind of getting it together and showing it to you out in the field, we'll go into a lot more detail about that. But along the side here, you can see the landing gear. Looks like it's got some good plastic doublers on there. Relatively simple landing gear overall, but it does have compression and uh, ball bearings. And I'll be testing the viability of this airplane uh, probably on grass and pavement. We'll see how it is. I've heard people have used it on both. I've seen it fly off both, but we'll kind of get an idea. The bearings will definitely help with that if you have uh, well-groomed grass, but we'll kind of see what happens. Looking in here, I might have lied to you guys. It looks like we got a 12-blade fan in there, so I'm really not totally sure the version or if they even had a second version, but these are 12-blade fans in this baby. So this is my first time really looking at this thing up close. You can see your two receiver tubes right down there. Those receiver tubes are for those rear tubes on your front fuselage section that plug right in. I couldn't initially get it on there until I rounded the corners of those things, the end of those tubes, and then it slides right in and it fits like a glove. This is probably going to be a job for foam tack here. Um, you can see your upper battery uh, strap right here, folks. Um, you can see uh, your upper battery strap holds in place here. Your wiring, your EC5 connectors and so forth. Really great detail all the way around. You can see how nice this is. One thing I really like too that they did here is, is that the uh, fuselage or the uh, intakes have plastic running around them so they don't get dinged because those intakes are real thin and that's a beautiful job. I'd probably like to see some plastic on the front of this. This area is foam so if you run into this you will ding that up so just kind of be careful handling that part of the airplane uh, when you're maneuvering this thing around as I'm trying to do right now. You can see several screws up top here to remove this this top deck here that gets down into the swing wing mechanism. And, uh, and then there's a little section here. This came separate in a bag. And that's actually your, uh, your latch mechanism for your canopy. And that probably just contact cements in place. Again, a little bit of foam tack. As I run across the top here, you can see um, where your four screws, there's either three or four screws. I'm not sure if one passes through, but you got screws here that connect your vertical stabilizers, your lights, your uh, connection there for your rudder and uh, you're good to go. This thing is really nicely painted. As I run along the bottom here overall, you can see how nice that decal application and how nice the paint is on this thing. You can see here where your hinge is for your stabilator, your tailoron. Your servo's already buried in there, ready to accept the rods and the linkages. And you can look down there, down the tailpipe, and you can see our 12-bladed fan down in there. You can see right here our tail hooks underneath. This is uh, one of these down here, I think, is your fuel dump mechanism. So if you never need to dump in the full scale, you need to dump fuel. Um, that's where it is done. And uh, just overall, beautiful fit, beautiful finish all the way around. Again, this edge line that you're seeing right along here, okay, 
is not fully down, it's not seated because you got to get, they stuck that foam in there for transporting this thing and you've got to get that thing, um, you got to get the wing in first before that's, uh, before that will seat down. You can see you got a, a light under here, position light, there's a position light right on top and sorry I can't point everything out, it's just I got to hold on to this thing so I don't drop it, it's so big and it's kind of heavy. And then your underneath section here where you've got your speed controllers. Looks like they use two 80 amp uh, Skywalker speed controllers. Those are actually rated for 100. I've used those in a lot of other airplanes and they're very good. You got some cheater holes here on the side. And then right there, that slot you're looking at, that's for your ventral fins that are right there. And those are made out of wood actually, uh, the VF uh, uh, ventral fins. And then you've got hatch access right there to your fans. But overall, this is sweet, guys. A real big, real heavy piece of equipment here. Nice big chunk. Again, most everything is mounted in here. And the paint job, the fit and finish is uh, fantastic. Uh, I got to give this definitely an A+. Plus. It's so nice how nicely this thing is made. We'll let you know how it all goes together. And I cannot wait to get this out to the field. But I have got to put this thing down because it is simply huge, guys. It is a big beast of a part, but definitely really nice uh, center section uh, fuselage and engine nacelles on this airplane. Now for the easy part, guys. I can show you some of the smaller pieces that are a little easier to handle. That, uh, that center section is just phenomenally huge, but it's so well made. It, it definitely, uh, definitely is nice out of the factory. But right now we're looking at the, uh, the nose section of this airplane. I grabbed those three pieces off the top and just literally just slapped them together in seconds. The, the level of detail is really spectacular on this thing. You can see how nicely those decals are applied and uh, how nice, uh, there's a little ventral fin, that's probably a, an antenna of some sort. Two pilots up front, looks like there's some, uh, some pretty good cockpit detail. Let me see if I can get in there. Usually don't see tons of detail in cockpits, we usually see some. Uh, looks like there's even a HUD, which is kind of nice, heads up display right there. But uh, overall, real nice all around. You can see how nicely plastic pieces are painted, decals are applied. Uh, probably a little bit of misprint on this decal right here. Looks like we're just a little out of position, but that's relatively a small thing compared to uh, the little laser tracking pod thing goes under there, which is in that bag right there. Um, but landing gear doors, there's a little dummy uh, slide brace there over center brace or a, a 90 degree brace. Let me see if I can open that up and look in there. Ooh, I can. Look at that. I didn't know if I'd be able to do that or not. Uh, nice retract overall, folks. When we get that out of there, it's got a landing light on there. We'll take a closer look when we get that out of thing out of there, real nice. You can see your servo there, drive it, it's all servo driven. Uh, nice metal trunnion in there. So that looks pretty darn sweet, guys. That's, uh, I like the way that is. And it looks like they got a pretty decent plastic tray. When I get in there, I'll take a closer look at that overall. But uh, you can see here where this whole thing, this is just the canopy that comes off. I just kind of stuck this thing on here it should pop off of here it slides right off it's not being held in any, any held in by anything other than friction at the moment but one of the things i was going to tell you about when you assemble this thing and i noticed i could not get these uh, rods in, in place sliding into those two holes right there on the fuselage couldn't get them in place until i rounded the corners you can see there i just rounded the edges of it and they fit right in and this thing fits like a glove so it's probably going to be roughing this up roughing it up quite a bit and either using epoxy or just foam tacking the whole thing I'll kind of play that by ear as I do it, but all the way around, you can see your wire linkages for your lights, your landing gear, your nose wheel steering, nice big deck up here. I'm assuming the receiver's going to go up here somewhere, but we'll kind of see how that goes. And the nose cone's a darn work of art. I mean, look at this thing. It's a plastic nose cone. However, it's magnetic, and it's backed up with foam in there. So this really makes a good, good uh, platform for any kind of camera mounts that I'm thinking about as I'm looking at this thing. So, and this literally, I just took it out of the box and stuck it right on there. Paint line's a little uneven, but I can probably even that up. It may need to be twisted a little bit, but that's not hard to do, a little bit of paint if it's not perfectly straight. But really, really slick overall. And you can see that, uh, how the canopy goes on there. Um, I don't see any ventilation there, but pilots are at least screwed in place. And you can see how this is gonna go, and it's just gonna slide right in get your light wires and all your other wires and so forth. Let me see if I can zoom back out here and get this, get this thing on here. Your tongue and groove in the front, you slide that back on. Actually, there are some magnets in the back, it looks like. And then there is a latch mechanism here that uh, latches onto that latch there, but absolutely first class, guys. I'm really, uh, really into the way this model is uh, looking so far. Definitely uh, A++.
The next main part to show you guys is uh, one of the wing panels. Both of these uh, look really nicely manufactured. Really smooth finish all the way around. Nice panel lines, decals applied. I love it when they apply decals. Decals, unless you want to do a special uh, paint job or something, man, decals are a pain to put on. So it is nice to have them all on this thing, and this thing is uh, just ready to go as I'm looking at this. Now at the heart of this thing, is the uh, the plastic fitting or the doubler all the way around here and you can see it on both sides bolted on and then uh, of course the swing wing is supported by two pretty big ball bearings there that are going to run through and uh, and then no doubt there's a spar or two probably running up here probably probably one right in here i'm thinking there may even be a second one that goes through there but as i'm flexing this with a swing wing you're always concerned with the rigidity of this thing and the strength of this and man it's tough that combined with the uh, aluminum um, uh, interior structure for that swing wing, uh, it's going to be a pretty tough uh, plane overall. You can see your decals applied on the wing tip. See your uh, wing lights. There's lights all over this airplane. It's really, really pretty spectacular level of detail that they've gone to on this. And then, of course, submerged style hinges all the way around. You can see how nice those are. There's your flaps. And uh, you've got your ailerons, servos, rods, horns, linkages already installed ball links with uh, brass balls and lock nuts. That's really probably about one of the best ways to do it. It's really, really nice and secure all the way around. But uh, nice straight wing as well too. I'm really liking this nice metal uh, leading edge there or metalized color. Uh, that's probably where a heating lead, it's probably a heated leading edge on the full scale airplane uh, for de-icing purposes, anti-icing. But overall, really nice wing. You can see here your uh, your flap and your aileron and your light hookups here and that all hooks up into the center. So simply folks, just uh, just outstanding wing panel. Next parts up to show you guys are your uh, tail surfaces. You can see your uh, full flying tail here. Again, all decals applied, finishes real nice overall. Uh, looks like there's a spar running through here and there's a nice plastic doubler here. And your hinge point rolls right around here and you do put right in here uh, an aluminum bell crank and that's how it controls the whole stabilizer mechanism, the whole tail surface and that's real easy to put on and we'll show you those. There you can see the rods right in there for your uh, stabilator uh, hinges. And then the vertical stabilizers, these are sweet guys. They did a really a tremendous job with the finish, the decal application, the overall just fit and finish. You got tail lights on here on uh, both the back and the front here. The other one just has one on the back and it's a slightly different different light overall, but you got your doublers here, your screw-ins here, screw-in holes right here, your uh, rudder servo, your light linkages or light uh, light wires to hook on. Of course, your ball links again there, guys, uh, all brass fittings, ball links, and uh, just really nice de decal, and your 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 standard uh, legendary Tomcat logo, guys. The, uh, the cat is back there, uh, the last of the, uh, the Grumman gunfighters there. Really nice decal. Uh, legendary decal all the way around, but uh, just super nice quality parts, folks. The last few parts to show you guys are the uh, the parts bags here, and you can see there's a few scale details here. These are actually made out of wood, which is real nice. They're a, um, looks like a light plywood, but uh, the VF2 uh, lower ventral fins that just uh, fit into place there and glue those in place easily. And then, of course, a laser track pod here uh, of some sort. Uh, I don't know exactly what that's for in the full scale airplane, but it's probably for targeting, radar tracking, and so forth. That just glues right underneath the nose. That's a real nice, uh, real nice detail to add to the airplane. And then as we look around here, you can see these are probably your uh, your stabilator linkages. Uh, you've got your uh, your axles here for your stabilators, okay? So with your your tailoron spin around, and then various screws for getting your rudders and and uh, vertical stabilizers on. And there's some. Uh, there's some uh, contact cement, kingboxer.net. Not sure what that is exactly, but I'll take a look at that contact cement. I'll probably use foam, ta foam tack. Sorry about that. Foam tack is the best stuff to use pretty much all the way around if you're going to glue anything into place. So uh, that's definitely the way to go uh, if you're gluing some foam. And then here's a couple structural braces. I don't know what these are for. I won't know till I get in there. These look like some washers for the uh, wing. Uh, ball races and so forth and uh, some screws and stuff. So this is obviously for the internal swing wing mechanism for structure of some sort. So uh, probably after you get the wing on these hold it in place or something or kind of act as a cross brace or something. So, But overall nicely manufactured uh, parts and uh, accessory part bags for this plane. Last but not least guys is the instruction manual for the F-14. So as we get on in here I'm going to go through all these pages. I haven't really looked at them too much. 
Uh, once again, you can see the dimensions here. Uh, I, I'm assuming, guys, now that we do have the upgraded version to show you with the 12-bladed fans, and we'll take a look at that uh, as we uh, get more into this. You can see the parts laid out pretty much the way I just laid them out for you, a little bit slightly different. But uh, but anyway, you get a, a check-off list here of uh, all the parts in there, and they talk to you about how to get this uh, whole thing together and how nicely you glue everything in place. It's your choice of glue. Uh, again, if you're roughing everything up, you can use epoxy and settle it all into place. You just got to make sure you're roughing all the surfaces, otherwise the epoxy won't fit to closed cell foam. So, but aside from that, in most cases, that was the old way I used to do it. I'll probably be using foam tack once again, guys, because foam tack is absolutely the best stuff to use on foam. It shows you getting your vertical stabilizers in place right there. You can skip this part because that part's already done. That's probably done for the uh, like the kit version of the airplane or something. Same thing with all of this stuff. A lot of this stuff is all for the kit version. You can see this is mounting your EDF jets and all that stuff. You can see your stabilator right there. You're going to want to do that part. But you sort of kind of have to ad lib this. This is really an, sort of an expert level model. Uh, intermediate to expert to advanced level. So you got to kind of look at this and figure which parts um, you know you have to do in this instruction manual, which you don't. Obviously, the swing wing mechanism it's already in place. You can see that uh, that robust aluminum spar with servos right there in the uh, the center there, and they show the push rods and mounting holes, the suggested positions and stuff. So this is obviously all done at the factory and during test flying and so forth. And again, they go more into the swing wing, how to set that up. There's quite a bit of detail there. There's that cross brace we talked about. Uh, that kind of does look like after you get your wing on, you kind of bolt that cross brace that in place. Yeah, it's a support. You can see your, your wing right there, and it's a cross brace. Once you get your wing on, you cross brace this on and bolt it down, so it, it kind of helps secure it in place. And uh, your back deck uh, that uh, seals up the rear section. Uh, optional missiles, we talked about those in the beginning, guys. You can use those if you want. Again, I'll be flying mine clean initially. And then it shows the disassembly and breakdown of the gear. Very detailed, real nice stuff. So you can kind of get an idea how or what parts you're going to find if you ever need to service any of your uh, your landing gear overall. So um, it goes into a lot of detail on the battery, the fans. Again, this thing's probably going to go on and on. Talks about your center gravity. It looks like we're at 87 aft of that panel line right there. So we'll check that out as we uh, get into it. Shows you everything. Uh, flaps, ailerons, elevator, all that stuff. Uh, this is important. It goes into throws of your uh, all of your uh, your ailerons, stabilators, flaps, where they ought to be, and that's uh, definitely some good info to have. And then it looks like we get into the Chinese manual, so we don't really need that overall. So anyway, guys, uh, this is a really nice airplane, guys, and I'll be putting the whole set together with uh, with all the uh, the Motion RC stuff, the, the batteries and the, their receivers and so forth and be looking for the flight videos of this coming. I'm, I'm dying to fly this. It's a really nicely built airplane overall, and uh, we'll get it out there, and we will see what it does. So stay tuned, guys, for the uh, free wing uh, F-14 Tomcat from Motion RC. Check this out at motionrc.com. It's pretty awesome. Spectacular airplane. Can't wait to fly it. Be looking for the videos. Once again, guys, thanks for uh, checking out RC Informer, and as always, guys, we'll see you next time.